Hey guys, my name's Brian O'Day. I'm one of the pastors of Pillar Church of Jacksonville, North Carolina, right outside of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune. I am also the executive director of the Praetorian Project. The Praetorian Project is a family of multiplying churches in military communities worldwide. I just wanted to give you an update uh, this month to let you know what's been going on around the project as a whole. And we have planted, uh, we have seen two churches planted across the project. So the first one, Pillar Church of Washington, D.C., sent out a planting team uh, to San Antonio, Texas, and that church officially launched on March 26 of this past year. Uh, their planting team is Jared Huntley and Andrew McDaniel and Keith Manry. Uh, those guys are the planting pastors. They're joined with their families and other families who have joined together to launch that church. So we're excited to be in Texas. Uh, we're excited to be there. Uh, the other church that has been planted, uh, Pillar Church of Jacksonville, North Carolina, uh, my church, uh, sent out Pillar Church of Havelock just a couple of weeks ago, and they were able to come together and officially launch as Pillar Church of Havelock, North Carolina, right outside of Marine Corps Air Station, Cherry Point. Planting team for that is uh, Scott Groves and Mike DeLarge. They're the planting pastors. They're joined with their families and several other families who have come together to launch that church. They launched on Easter Sunday. And so we are so excited to see uh, two churches uh, launched in the past uh, month. Do not get your expectations to having two churches every month. Uh, but it is exciting when it comes together and we see two churches launched uh, kind of back to back like that. Uh, so just to kind of zoom out and think through where we are as a project, as a family of churches. Uh, we now have four churches in Northern Virginia, D.C. area. So that's in D.C. and Woodlawn, which is Alexandria, Virginia, Mount Vernon area, Dumfries, Virginia, Stafford, Virginia. Then we have three churches now in Eastern North Carolina, Jacksonville, Topsail, and Havelock. And then if we go west from there in Texas, we now have San Antonio, Texas. We go west from there, there are three churches in Southern California, Pillar Church of Oceanside, San Diego, and 29 Palms. And then we have to go across the Pacific Ocean uh, to Okinawa, Japan. I was actually able to visit Okinawa, Japan just recently. Uh, it's exciting to see the work happening out there. So. 12 churches spread out quite a bit uh, across the continental United States and then also in Okinawa, Japan. So that's where we are. Also to give you an update kind of where we are as far as our big strategic goal right now as a project as a whole, we've, we're trying to get in Texas, Central Texas, Tidewater of Virginia, and Northwest Washington State. We want a multiplying church in each of these locations. So in Texas, we now have a church. We have a church plant that is there. We are praying that God would raise up that church plant to become a fully self-sustaining, self-governing, self-propagating, multiplying church. And so we want to see that go. But that's a big start that we have a church plant in San Antonio. So be praying with us that that church would grow and mature and love Jesus and love one another and be able to flourish there in San Antonio and to be able to multiply out of where they are. Tidewater, Virginia. We have a planting team. Uh, Carrie Julian and Jonathan Rivera are the planting pastors, and along with their families and along with other families that are joining the church planting team for Norfolk, Virginia. We anticipate that'll plant later on this year, probably in the fall of this year. And so we're looking forward to that starting. And then the third one is Northwest Washington State. We have some growing partnerships. We're getting some more relationships going up there. Uh, probably the next big step that you'll hear about for that is uh, for several of us to kind of take a vision trip up there to Northwest Washington State. And so we're seeing some movement 
in our uh, strategic initiative to, to really solidify ourselves in these three regions and have a multiplying church in these three, three regions. Uh, we want to see the gospel transform these regions. We want to see more healthy churches in these regions. We want to see more military families being discipled in healthy local churches in these regions. And uh, if you're partnering with us, if you're praying with us, if you're financially supporting us, any of these things, you're, you're part of this. And so we're so thankful for you. It's exciting when we get to share good news of churches being launched. Uh, but we know that many of you are kind of in it with us for the long haul, and we're just thankful for that. Thanks so much for listening to this update. I, I'm just excited uh, to be able to partner with you guys in this. If you've listened to this point, would you just take a moment and pray for the project as a whole? Just pray for all these churches, 12 churches. Uh, pray that the gospel would be spread, that uh, people would be discipled in these churches, and that the gospel would be faithfully proclaimed. I love you guys. Thank you.